Hello everyone. Happy Friday. I can hear the high school marching band. It must be at halftime. Anyway, then I've been here a lot today. My digestive system has just every couple of months it just totally derails. It takes like a solid week to get back on track and some days is easier and some days is harder and it was a harder day and I just was sucking out my energy so much but hopefully that will sort itself out soon enough it's just one of those things I am a delicate snowflake when it comes to my digestive system but I did get some progress done on this blanket. As you can see, I'm using different colors. It's the same pattern as the one that's on me. It uses three colors of this variegated yarn, and you just alternate rows. You go across with one, and one is waiting for you, then you go back, and another one's waiting for you. So at all times, you have one on each side, and then the one you're working on. And yeah, two of them are very purpley. This one's very purple. I keep going like this, sorry. This one's really purple, and then that one's green with purple. And then this one's just a multi to throw in some, some other colors. And I'm loving it. It looks extra pretty in the light. Very, very mermaidy, very ocean in nature. And I think it'll look good in here with my plants. But, yeah. Everybody got off to school. I did not go anywhere. Didn't just the bus stop. And then, yeah, just been taking care of my body today. And no homework today for Sebastian because he doesn't have homework on Fridays, which is great for him. We're about to do bedtime in 10 minutes at 8.30 instead of 7.45. I rallied and I cooked dinner, as you saw. And, oh, it was cute. One of the boys in Sebastian's class lives near one of the play big playgrounds in the neighborhood. Sebastian is allowed to go with his tracking watch if he asks. It's not too far. So he asked to go there and he was probably playing with the boy. And then at one point he comes back, I see an alert for the camera and I hear him running up the stairs and he's like, so-and-so is is here, I was showing him where we live. He wants to say hi. <laughs> I'm like, he wants to say hi to me. I'm like, okay. So I, I put down my stuff and go down there. Oh, it's, it was just so cute, it's so cute. I j literally just at the bus stop today, there's a kindergartner and I was chatting with him and he was like touching me with his toy, like his Incredible Hulk. And his mom's like, Oh, we don't touch people. I'm like, don't worry about it. All the kids know me from like being at the school so much. And they, especially the young ones, they just like come right up to me and give me hugs or touch my necklaces or earrings or hair. And it's, it's just normal for them. <laughs> it's fine. So having one of the little boys from Sebastian's class who's seen me a handful of times. I'm sorry, somebody's probably walking their dog. They see me a handful of times, mostly at lunch. He, who wants to like say hi? That was so cute. So, I came out, I was like, oh yeah, I know you from lunch in your classroom. So you live by the playground and he describes it. Yeah, you go down the street and I'm like, I don't know what street he's talking about. Even if somebody said the names of the street, I have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> but it was so cute. And I was like, wow, that must, you must get to go to the playground a lot. You're so close to it. And yeah, just kept the conversation moving. 
and yeah they went back out to play we just wanted to stop and say hi and it was it warmed my heart ziggy please man please yeah well anyway after that is when i cooked dinner nothing too complicated we did a mexican night and everything is like either frozen or like pretty ready to make the only thing i make from scratch is a quesadilla, but I mean, it's like cooking cheese in between tortillas. <laughs> it's just a lot of parts and coordinating two different brands of like frozen burrito. I do a little hack where I cook them to almost ready in the microwave and then they go into the oven where my taquitos are cooking because they can't be microwaved and then they the burritos crisp up and are not soggy microwave burritos. So I'm like coordinating all the things and using the microwave in the right order and certain things are on the stove. So I've got it down to a science and it goes pretty fast. It goes, it's about 15 minutes or less because doing the taquitos is the longest thing and that takes 15 minutes including preheating the oven. I really need to finish making my Easel. But I have to pull it out to get to the rest. So Danny went out after dinner. He just walked to a place about a mile away to see some friends play at a I don't know what you call it, a pub. I think it's a pub. So I'm doing bedtime. I always do bedtime. But yeah, it's a little different when he's out because I bring the dog up and have to deal with the dog, which is fine. I love Piggy. Piggy doesn't always want to be locked up here, but I can't leave him down there because he'll do his little barking thing. I make a noise. But yeah, Danny was out Wednesday night, Thursday night, <laughs> and now Friday night. And I don't know about Saturday night, but I know Saturday he and Sebastian are going to an Oktoberfest, kind of like driving out to Middleburg because the band he does sound for has a show at 11.30 I think and then they'll check out everything. I'm sure they'll stay way longer than I would be able to handle. That's the thing, I like going places and I even love seeing their show, it's just then they want to stay obviously and drink beers for a few hours and I just, <laughs> that's too much. Especially with my digestion a little weird. I don't wanna I, I'm not porta pottying it right now. No. No, no, no. <sighs> but yeah. So they're gonna be doing that. I was like, oh, no brunch when he told me that it's like Sunday, it's fine. So I offered at dinner to take Jax to breakfast. And Jax chose silver dino so hopefully they won't be on too much of a wait whenever we end up going there and i think sometime i think at 3 a.m tonight some golden retriever youtubers <laughs> that sebastian likes are releasing stuffed animals on target it says three o'clock eastern time so i'm assuming that means 3 a.m because it would say a.m. or p.m. if it wasn't like military time. So I don't know. I do have a little alert set to eight because I'm usually up by then to remind me if I don't remember to go to their website and see if I can get it. But otherwise, I don't know if I have to go to a Target. It's like limited quantities. I don't know. I'll, I'll try not to mention it. So he doesn't freak out that he's going to be at that Oktoberfest instead of trying to get it, but it'd be a nice surprise if I could say they were either ordered or actually have them. I don't really want to go to Target. <laughs> Target's easy to go to if I'm going out to Michael's because there's one there, but like, it's like we're here and there's a Target all the way over here and a Target all the way over here. They're not right here. But I think that's all I can update you with. Mentally, I'm just eh, because I'm mostly thinking about my other channel 
and how just nothing's working out. I hate, I don't hate, I just don't love the videos I've done. I'm not really worried about sticking to one thing right now because I'm trying to find what feels comfortable, but nothing has been right yet. And I don't think it's resonating with anybody either. So, I just, I'm not sure what to do. I, I need to edit the one I have filmed though, so at least it's something, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of depressing. But I'm gonna wrap this up because I have two minutes till bedtime, so. <sighs> we'll see you tomorrow. And we'll see what we get up to. So stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.